Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone. Now we are going to continue with topic 2 equation inequality and absolute value. In this video, uh, we are going to focus on lecture 1 or 4 for subtopic 2.1 equation. This is uh, part 1. Video part 1. At the end of the lesson, students are able to express the rule of indices, explain the meaning of a set and its conjugate, perform algebraic operation on set, express the laws of logarithm such as log m n to the base of a is equal to log m to the base of a plus log n to the base of a. The second one is log m over n to the base of a equal log m to the base of a minus log n to the base of a and the third one log m to the power of n to the base of a is equal to n multiplied by log base m to the base of a and then uh, change the base of logarithm such as uh, log base log m to the base of a equals to uh, log n to the base of b divide by log e to the base of b. And the last one is find the equation involving set indices and logarithm. Indices. First, the rule of indices. An index, also known as a power, tells you how many times you have to multiply the number by itself. For example, 2 to the power of 5 means we multiply 2 by itself 5 times. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 as 2 power of 5. If uh, we multiply a n times, so then we can uh, conclude that uh, it's, it's, it is a to the power of n, where a is called the base and n is the index of power. Sometimes this is read as a is raised to the power, to the power of n. Here we have eight rule of indices. The first one, a to the power of m multiply a to the power of n equal a to the power of m plus n. And then the second one, we have a to the power of m divided by a power of n is equal to a power m minus n. And then uh, we move to the third one, a to the power of m to the power of n. This is a to the power of m n. So, we can uh, multiply the uh, the power, the index here. And then, the fourth one is a power 0 is become 1, provided that a does not equal to 0. And then, the fifth one, a power negative m. So, then, we can change to a over a power m. And then, six number 6, a power m over n is equal to a power 1 over n to the power of m. And uh, then a b a multiplied by b to the power of n, we can uh, split into two a power n multiplied by b power n. And the last one a over b power n, we can split into a over n divided by b power n. Let's look at example one. Simplify fully. Question one a. Simplify fully 18x square y power 5 divide by 3x power 4 y. Okay, first we notice that 18 divided by 3 uh, is equal to 6. So then we can simplify 18 divided by 3 is as 6. So then 6 x square y power 5 over x power 4 y. And then we can uh, apply rule of indices which is uh, a power of m divided by a power of n is equal to a power m minus n. Alright, so then we get 6x power 2 minus 4 multiply y power 5 minus 1. So then we can uh, minus 2 minus 4 and 5 minus 1. Then it becomes 6x power negative 2 y power 4. And then we can write uh, in the simplif simplified form, so then 6y power 4 over x square. 
Question 1B. Simplify fully. 5 power of n plus 1 multiply 10 power of n divided by 20 power of 2n multiply 2 power of 3n. We have base 5, base 10, base 20 and base 2. So now we can take base 5 and base 2 for this expression. So now we change for 10, we change to 5 times 2 and for 20, we change to 4 times 5. So then we get um, 5 power of 3 5 power of n plus 1 multiply. Uh, so for base 10, we change to 5 times 2 power of n and then divide by 4 times 5 power of 2n. This is for 20 power of 2n. Uh, multiply 3, 2 power of 3n. Okay. So then we apply a rule a b power of n is equal to a power of n b power of n for uh, for, for 5 times 2 power of n and for uh, 4 times 5 to power of 2n. Okay, so then we get 5 power of n plus 1 multiply 5 power of n multiply 2 power of n times 2 power of 3 power of n. And then divide by 4 power of 2n times 5 power of 2n. Okay, so then for 4 power of 2n, uh, we can uh, change to... 2 power of 2, power of 2n. So then it's become 2 power of 4n. And then after this, we can apply rule of indices for a power of m multiply a power of n is equal to a power of m plus n. And also for a power of n divided by a power of n is equal to a power of m minus n. And then we get 5 power of n plus 1 plus n minus 2n. Okay, we get 5 power of 1 and multiply 2 power of n plus 3n minus 4n. So this one we get 2 power of 0. Since 2 power of 0 is equal to 1, so finally we get 5 as a final answer. Question 1c. Simplify fully. 3y square t to, uh, to the power of 2 divided by 3y t square to the power of negative 2. Okay, so uh, the first one we uh, expand, uh, expand, uh, to, uh, expand power of 2 uh, on top and expand power of negative 2 on bottom. Okay, so then it's become 3 power of 2, y power of 4, t squared. So in this one, we uh, expand the power of 2. Okay, and then divide by... 3 power negative 2, y power negative 2, t power negative 4. Alright. And then after that, we apply rule of indices. A power of m uh, divided by a power of n is equal to a power m minus 1. We can, uh, we have base 3, base y, base t. So then, it's become 3 power 2 minus negative 2, y power of 4 minus negative 2, t power of 2 minus negative 4. So then, we simplify, we get 3 power of 4, y power of 6, and t power of 6. So finally, uh, 3 power 4 is equal to 81. So then, we get 81 y power of 6, t power of 6. Explain the meaning of a set and its conjugate. Set are uh, irrational numbers written in the root form to express its exact value. Consider an example. Set 2 is approximate to 1.414213, but it is more accurate to leave it as a set 2. Some set can be simplified to mix sets. For example, set 12 can be expressed as a set 4 multiplied by set 3. So then we can simplify to set 3. Here are seven rule of set. The first one is set of a b. Set of a multiplied by b is equal to set a multiplied by set b. This is valid for a b. Uh, a or b is more or equal to zero. And then the second one is set of a divided by b is equal to set a over set b. So this is valid for a is more or equal to zero. And B is more than 0. 
And then the third one is A set B plus minus C set B equals to A plus minus C set B. So for this rule, we uh, add or subtract the coefficient of set. And then the fourth one is set A multiplied set A is equal to A. And then set A plus set A is equal to 2 set A. So this is similar with uh, rule or the third rule. Lah. So then we add the coefficient of set A. So the first one is coefficient 1. The second one is 1. So 1 plus 1 is become 2. So then we get 2 set A. And then uh, set A plus set B square. So then we have to uh, expand set A plus set B and set A plus set B. So then uh, we get A plus B plus 2 set AB. And then uh, set A plus set B multiply set A minus set B is equal to A uh, minus B. So we, if we expand the set with the quadruple of set, then we get the uh, the number, we get the value. So then for this one, we expand set A plus set B multiply set A minus set B and then uh, we get A minus B. Please remember that uh, for set, for set uh, of A plus B cannot be set, cannot be set A plus set B. Alright, so uh, please remember, I, I uh, stretch this one, set of A plus B cannot be set A plus set B. And then a uh, conjugate of set. The sum and difference of two sets are conjugate set to each other. For example, uh, we have 4 set 7 plus set 2 is the conjugate of 4 set 7 minus set 2. Negative 2 set 5 plus set 3 is the conjugate of negative 2 set 5 minus set 3. So actually, a uh, conjugate of set, we change the middle sign. So if uh, plus, we change to minus. If minus, we change to plus. Multiplication of a set and its conjugate will give a rational number. So this is the ratio rule of a set. The use of conjugate is important in division by a set. Rationalizing a denominator is when we have to simplify the fraction to the form where the denominator is a rational number, uh, which is uh, uh, we simplify the fraction until the denominator become no set. So this is called as rationalizing a denominator. To do so, we may uh, we may multiply the both the numerator and denominator of the fraction by uh, if uh, has one term. We multiply both numerator and denominator of the fraction by the set of denominator. If we have two terms, we multiply both the numerator and denominator of the fraction by the conjugate of denominator. Perform algebraic operation on set. Addition, subtraction and multiplication of set are similar to operation on polynomial. Okay. For addition or subtraction, we add or subtract the number outside the set. Uh, with the condition, we have a similar set. For example, 4 set 7 minus 2 set 7 is equal to 2 set 7. So since we have set 7, uh, we have similar uh, set which is set 7. And then we, uh, my, uh, we subtract 4 coefficient 4 with 2. And then we get 2 set 7. But uh, 5 set 2 plus 3 set 3 cannot be manipulated because the set are different. Uh, well, for multiplication, we multiply the number outside the set together and the number inside the set together. Then, we simplify. For example, 5 set 2 multiply 3 set 3. So, we uh, multiply 5 with 3, we get 15. And then set 2 times set 3, we get set 6. So finally, we get 15 set 6. 
Let's look at for example 2. Simplify. Question 2a. Simplify 8 set 2 multiply 5 set 6 plus set 2. So for this question, uh, we need to expand. Eh? So first we need to expand 8 set 2 with 5 set 6. And then we expand 8 set 2 with set 2. Okay, so then we get 40 set 6 multiplied by 2 plus 8 set 2 times 2. So we multiply uh, the number is outside set with outside set and then we multiply uh, the number inside set with inside set. Alright, so 8 times 5 we get 40 and then set 2 times set 6 and then uh, 8 times 1 nah, we get 8 here. Alright, and then we get 40 set 12 plus 8 set 4. And then after that, we able to simplify set 12 in uh, into mixes, mix it. Uh, and then uh, set 4 is become 2. And then 40 set 4 multiplied 3 plus 8 times 2. So then 8 times 2, we get 16. And then after that, set 4 times set 3, we get 2 set 3. And finally, we get 80 set 3 plus 16. Question 2B. Simplify 2 set 3 plus 4 set 2 multiply set 6, 6 set 3 plus 2 set 2. Okay, so for this case, we need to expand one by one. The first one, we expand 2 set 3 with 6 set 3. And then after that, 2 set 3 with 2 set 2. And then the third one, 4 set 2 with 6 set 3 and 4 set 2 with 2 set 2. And then we get 12 times 3. Okay, so this is 2 times 6, 12. Set 3 times set 3 is 3. Alright, plus 4 set 6. So this is 2 times 2, uh, multiply, uh, and then uh, set 3 multiplied by set 2. So then we get 4 set 6. And then after that, 4 set 2 times 6 set 3, we get 24. 4 times 6 is 24. Set 2 times set 3, we get set 6. And the last one is 4 times 2, 8. And set 2 times set 2 is 2. Alright? So then, we get 36 plus 28 set 6 plus 16. And finally, we simplify, we get 52 plus 28 set 6. Let's look at for example 3. Rationalize the denominator and simplify the following fraction. Question 3a. Rationalize 3 over 2. Alright, for this part, uh, we, we need to rationalize uh, the denominator of the set. So then, we need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator of the fraction by the set of denominator. Okay. So, since we have uh, one term, lah, set 2. And then, uh, the first step, you need to multiply uh, 3 over set 2 with set 2 over set 2. So, this is set of the denominator. Okay. So, then we multiply. On uh, on top, we have 3 and set 2. So, then we get 3 set 2. Uh, bottom, we have set 2 and set 2. So, then set 2 multiplied by set 2, we get 2. So, finally, we get... 3 set 2 over 2. For question 3b, we have uh, uh, we have to rationalize 2 set 3 over 5 minus set 3. So, uh, for this case, uh, we need to multiply uh, both numerator and denominator of the fraction by the conjugate of denominator since we have two terms. Okay, so... Uh, conjugate of the numerator, which is uh, conjugate of 5 minus set 3 is 5 plus set 3. We change in the middle uh, sign. Sign in the middle. Alright. So then the first step you need to multiply uh, both numerator and denominator. 2 set 3 over 5 minus set 3 multiply 5 plus set 3 over 5 plus set 3. Alright. So then we need to expand on top and on bottom. 
So on top we have a uh, we need to expand two set three multiply by five and then we get ten set three and then two set three multiply set three we get plus two set three square and then on bottom uh, we need to expand five minus set three with five plus set three so then we expand we get five times five is twenty five five times set three is 5 set 3 and then minus set 3 times 5 we get minus 5 set 3 and finally minus set 3 squared alright and then we simplify the, the, the denominator we get 25 minus 3 so then we get uh, on uh, bottom we get 22 and then uh, the, uh, the top one we get 10 set 3 plus 6 over 22 alright and then after that, we can simplify uh, by factor, factor the, the top one, uh, we factor 2. Okay, so then uh, 2 multiply 5, set 3 plus 3 over 22. Finally, we can simplify uh, this fraction uh, by cancel out 2. Okay, we can cancel out two. Then uh, the bottom one, the denominator here is become 11. Finally, our answer is 5 set 3 plus 3 over 11. Logarithm. Express the law of logarithm. Exponent and logarithm are related. The exponent asks... How many times to use number in multiplication? Well, the logarithm answer what the exponent is. For example, 2 of something is equal to 8. Okay. Uh, well, log base, log 8 to the base of 2 is equal to 3. So then, the answer is 3. Since uh, 2 power of 3 is can become 8. Therefore, logarithm equal the exponent so we have uh, the log log uh, n to the base of a is equal to x is equivalent to a power of x is equal to n for example log 81 to the base of 3 is equal to 4 while 81 is equal to 3 power of 4 the logarithm base 10 with a equals to 10 is called as common logarithm written simply as log x equals to log x to the base of 10 for every x is more than 0 for example log 3 to the base of 10 or log 5 to the base of 10 the logarithm base e with e equals to 2.71828 dot 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 is called as the natural logarithm are written simply as log base e x is equal to log x for every x is more than zero for example log 3 to the base of e or log e the laws of logarithm we have a three law the first one is log m plus log n is equal to log m multiplied by n for example log 6 to the base of 2 plus log x to the base of 2 we is equal to log 6 x to the base of 2 the second one log m minus log n is equal to log m over n for example log 10 to the base of 5 minus log y to the base of 5 is equal to log 10 over y to the base of 5 the third one is log m to power of n is equal to n log m. For example, log x to power of 4 to the base of 2 is equal to 4 multiplied log x to the base of 2. To apply the rule, all log must be to the same base. All rule and properties of logarithm are applicable for natural logarithm. The first one, 
log 1 to the base of a is equal to 0. For common logarithm, log 1 is equal to 0. For natural logarithm, is log 1 is equal to 0. Log a to the base of a is equal to 1. While for common log, log 10 is equal to 1. For natural logarithm, log e equals to 1. For log a power x to the base of a is equal to x. For common logarithm, log 10 power x is equal to x. For natural logarithm, log non e power x is equal to x. And then, e to the power of log x to the base of e is equal to x. For common log, 10 power log x is equal to x. And for natural logarithm, e power log x is equal to x. Look at for example 4. Question A. Write the following as a single logarithm. Log 3 to the base of 2 plus uh, 5 log x to the base of 2 minus 8 log y to the base of 2. For question B, write as a sum or different of log of ln set 2x over x squared minus 1. Uh, let's look at for solution question 4a. For this uh, question, we want to write as a single log. So first, we notice that uh, we have three term here uh, with the uh, log with the same base, which is base two, right? So since uh, it have the same base, so then uh, we may apply rule of log. Okay. So first, uh, in the middle for five log base two s. We can bring 5 to uh, make as a power in the back. Okay. So then it's become log base 2, uh, 3 plus log base 2 x power 5. While for 8 log base 2 y also 8 we can bring as a power in the back at the back. So then it's become log base 2 y power 8. And then we can combine uh, these three uh, log with a uh, rule of log. Uh. Okay, so then um, we simplify and write as a single log, log base 2, 3x power 5 over 3 power 8. Alright, for question 4b, we want to write uh, as a sum or different of log. For this case, we have a set uh, here, log set to x over x square minus 1. Well, first, we change set to power 1 over 2. So then, uh, we bring 1 over 2 to the uh, front. Eh? So then, it's become 1 over 2 multiply ln 2x over x square minus 1. And then, we may apply uh, ln m over n. It's become ln m minus ln n. So then, 1 over 2 multiply ln 2x minus ln x square minus 1. And then, uh, for x square minus 1, we um, can factorize as x minus 2, x plus 1. So then, uh, we get 1 over 2 multiply ln 2x minus ln x minus 1, x plus 1. So then, for ln x minus 1, uh, x plus 1, uh, we apply rule ln m n is equal to ln m plus ln n. So then, uh, we can express this expression as 1 over 2 multiply ln 2x minus ln x minus 1 plus ln x plus 1. And then we can expand the, the minus 1. It's become ln 2x minus ln x minus 1 minus ln x plus 1. So, jadi kita expand yang ini ya. Kita buka dia. Okay. So, then we get 1 over 2 ln 2x minus 1 over 2 ln x minus 1 minus 1 over 2 ln x plus 1. Chain of base of logarithm. To evaluate a non-standard base log, you have to use the chain of base formula. 
log m to the base of a, we want to change to uh, base b. So, it's become log m to the base of b over log a to the base of b. Let's look at for example 5. Question 8. Evaluate log 10 to the base of 5 correct to 4 decimal places. And then we express log x to the base of 2 plus log x to the base of 8 as a single logarithm to the base 2. Let's look at for question 8. We want to evaluate log 10 to the base of 5. So we need to uh, change the base to the base 10. So then it's become log 10 to the base of 10 over log 5 to the base of 10. And then log uh, 10, 10 is become 1 over log 5. Alright. So then we calculate, we get 1.4307 correct to 4 decimal places. Alright. For question B, we want to express as a single logarithm to base 2. Okay. Now we have log x to the base of 2 plus log x to the base of 8. Uh, so, for this case, we uh, we doesn't have a similar base. So, so we need to change uh, the base 8 to the base 2. Okay. So, then we get uh, log x to the base of 2 plus log x to the base of 2 over log 8 to the base of 2. So, we change uh, base 2 uh, from 8 to 2. All right. And then log base 2 8 is become log base 2, 2 power of 3. Okay, so then uh, it's become 3 lah. Alright, so then we get log x to the base of 2 plus log x to the base of 2 over 3. So now we have uh, coefficient for log base 2 x. The first one we have coefficient 1. The, the second term we have 1 over 3. So then 1 plus 1 over 3 is become 4 over 3. So finally we get 4 over 3 log x to the base of 2. So this is a single log to the base 2. For part 2.1b, find the equation involving set indices and logarithm. I'm going to explain in the next video. So that's, that's all for now. Thank you. Bye. See you.